Hey guys, so this is going to be our unboxing and installation of our ARB awning and it's the 2500 by 2500 and specifically this one comes in the PVC canvas bag. There are some other models out there which come in aluminum casing, but this one is the one with the canvas bag. So you'll want to take a little closer look if you're interested in that and we'll show you some more details on that and let's show you what hardware comes with it and what's needed. All right, so let's talk a little bit more in detail what actually comes with the awning itself. So, of course, the first important step is your instructions, which if you're like my husband, he looked at it, said here, and threw it at me. So, there's really some good information here, some proper maintenance and stuff, but always read the instructions. They're very helpful whether you want to or not. Read them. Second off, you have your typical guy line. You have your stakes to hold the guy line down. We also have in here, I believe it's the power cord. I haven't even opened this yet to see what it is exactly. Yep, it's the power cord. This particular awning also comes with an LED light strip. There are some different power modes, three different settings, I believe, with that as well. So we'll test that later on and we'll show you how to install that. Something else to note with this particular, oh, actually all of the ARB awnings, is that you actually have to buy the mounting kit separate from the actual awning itself. Reason being is that they don't want to send you a whole bunch of parts you're not going to use. So you, this particular setup, since we're a flush mount, we're actually going to mount flush onto the thing. We don't have a rack. So we went with the quick release mount. So we actually went way heavy duty and ordered these big boys. So we're going to do the installation here in a minute. And actually what also comes, this that's separate from this. We did actually receive in with the awning these cute little square brackets, which actually slide in. And you'll see these here in a minute as well when we start the installation. Um, the other thing to note that uh, you be prepared to make several trips to the hardware store depending on what type of hardware you get and what you're trying to install because you're always trying to mix a match between what they send you and what you actually order and trying to make things work. So note to self, be prepared to make a lot of driving. The other things that we've gotten just to help us are we have a bunch of washers, some different bolts, and also I went ahead and I want to make sure it's sealed because we're going to be drilling flush into the roof of this guy and I don't want any leaks. So we went ahead and got prepared for that and yeah, oh, the quick release. So here is our quick release bracket. It'll make a lot more sense here in a minute whenever we start putting things together, but in pieces it's kind of confusing. So. Yeah, so let's get this guy bad boy installed and let's see how it goes together. All right, guys, we're going to start out with step number one, cleaning the roof. I just took alcohol and rags. Uh, you can do anything you want to do, but alcohol seems to uh, get all this tree sap, dirt, and gunk off. Step two, mount the quick release. We're going to start with our square pegs, bolts, <laughs> sorry, we're going to slide them in. We are one, square, one of these short. We're going to install it later on when they come in. We didn't realize we actually needed these, so this is something we had to order extra as well. Just finger tight. Where's the washers? Oh. And don't make mistakes. Use your washers. Ten millimeter. Keeping it loose on here so we can still slide it in the position we need it to. Just enough to hold it. Alright guys, what we decided to do is go ahead and tighten the mounts. Uh, or this the quick release mounts go ahead and put the mounts on the awning itself so we can place it up here dry fit it what we're going to do is we're going to mark our two forward holes and uh, so this way we can drill these go ahead and uh, put the bolts in so this way we don't have to hold it then I can go down and measure to make sure that we keep the bolts inside our storage compartment for the 10RK all right for you, uh, your camper folks, your 10 RK guys, this is the hardest part of the mount. Drill in the hole in your camper. So here we go.
Okay, side note, uh, after drilling the holes on the 10RK, so this is for you 10RK folks, uh, noticed that uh, my bolts were too short. So you want at least two and a half inch bolts to be able to get through these hefty mounts and the roof of this 10RK. So just keep that in mind. Okay, we've got it mounted or four pointed. I've got it four pointed so I can mark for my next four holes. This is for you 10RK guys. From these bolts here, I've measured inside the compartment and I had four, four and three quarters inch uh, leeway before I would hit the, the edge of the compartment and go into the refrigerator compartment. So I've measured and I've uh, went ahead and put one at an inch and a half in and the other one is at three and three quarter inch. So basically the front of the mount and the center of the mount. And from back here, you'll be in the refrigerator compartment. So I figured that is plenty to uh, keep this on there. I mean, right now we've just got it two pointed and it's very firm. So I, I overkill, but better safe than sorry. This is inside the 10RK top storage compartment. I haven't put the nuts on it. I just wanted to go ahead and show you this is what it would look like inside. I'm just going to go ahead and drill through the mount plate. The drill bit will fit through, so. Okay, uh, one thing I'm gonna try before uh, removing the plate, so that way I know where the plate is, so I can uh, go ahead and put some sealant down, is I'm going to mark where my holes are, or the edges to where I can kind of have an outline to get a nice little uh, row of sealant and then place the mount on top of it, put the uh, mount bolts in, get them tightened, and then I'll run a bead of sealant all the way around, and then I'll run and seal the inside of the, the channels here on the mount. Okay, as you see in there, I ran a bead around each hole. Now I'm going to go ahead and go around the edges. Sorry, uh, the camera died while I was uh, tightening the bolts, didn't even realize it. But anyway, we tightened all six bolts on both the front and the back mount. Now I want to go back and I'm going to start on the inside channel. I'm going to start getting right up underneath the washers and uh, get the sealant up under there pretty good. Then I'm going to fill in the channel and then I'm going to come out on the outside and do a bead along the outside and that'll be good. Alright guys, it's installed. Now I hope we didn't screw up.
Okay, so it did come, like we said earlier, there was an LED strip here. There's a 12 volt adapter with a long cord. I'm not sure how long it is yet. Plugs in over here where you see here. And then uh, your 12 volt source, which is, you know where ours are if you own 12 RK. 10 RK, I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, that's for that. And uh, your stakes, your rope. Can't show you because we got a fence. So, uh, but anywho, rope it on each end, draw it out. Make sure because wind, you definitely want to make sure it's stabilized for wind. Yeah. So that's the point of those. Especially for Oklahoma. Yeah. So, uh, if you guys have any questions, this was really a, uh, we got it at 10 a.m. this morning, unboxed it. I didn't read the instructions. She may have, and we just winged it. And it, it's actually a really relatively overall easy install. Um, we just beefed up a lot for our particular use. We, we beefed up, and if you if you were paying attention, that we did start, and it was really really sunny out. Now it's really really not. Uh, yeah. We had a lot of visitors. <laughs> we had a couple of trips back to the lumber yard and whatnot. So, but anywho, um, I'll I'll write up a description of everything that. I think a 10RK person needs to know, and if they want to go with these mounts, and then for anybody else, like this is a universal awning, so uh, I'll try to tell you. I, I think it pretty much comes with everything you need to. Other than mounting brackets. Yeah, other than mounting brackets, it, you'll have to decide what you're putting on, and then go and find either the mounting brackets or uh, L brackets and. I've seen I've seen people mount with just regular L brackets, which it looks like looks like the way it uh, was done, it would it would have easily done it. So, and the main reason why we like this particular model is that it came with everything all installed there. I don't have to pack anything else at all. It's all there, and that was part of the reason why we really really liked this particular model. So, and we'll test out the lights at some point too, maybe. Yeah. Well, uh, if we have any problems with this, or when we have problems with it, we will uh, update the description. So check check on uh, down there to see. Uh, one thing I we've noticed that they've had issues with the way uh, when it rains that it leaks. Well, I'm hoping the way that I just mounted this with the flush mount, flush flush mount, and uh, it's pretty tight, so. We'll have to wait and see when we're actually using it with rain to see if it leaks through here. So, like I said, check down in the description. When it happens, we'll pull up in the description. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you uh, if you like this and want to see more, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and smack that bell. See ya.